this screencast is going to be used to try to help you teach you how to draw the apparent path of the sun on a celestial sphere which is very confusing super confusing and sometimes cray cray so this is a celestial sphere you can see it has the compass on it north south east and west uh, that could change depending upon where you are for example if you're at the north pole you won't see north because you're as far north as you could possibly get conversely if you're at the south pole you won't see south because that's as far south as you can get so a little heads up ahead of time we also try to explain what exactly this is and why somebody would dress that way yeah so page four reference table surface ocean currents gives you important lines of latitude these are dates that you should know um, and these are on or about dates so june 21st could be the 22nd the 23rd March 21st, 22nd, 23rd, December 21st, 22nd, and 23rd. These <clears throat> lines of latitude receive a 90 degree, 90 degree angle of insulation, easy for me to say, at solar noon. Solar noon is when the sun is highest in the sky for that particular day. So if we had to draw the sun's path for the equator, upper right hand corner, you can see equator. We have the dates March 21st, September 21st, June 21st, and December 21st. If I go back to the original page, I could see that the sun gets to be at the zenith on March 21st, September 21st. So let's take a look at the astronomy program called Starry Night with this, shall we? And here, I have it set already for, and you look, you see it's September 21st, it's about 5.55 a.m. You can see the sun is rising exactly in the east back to here you can see that the equator right over here this is where the line of latitude that receives a 90 degree angle of insulation on March 21st and September 21st so whatever you get for March 21st you'll get the same Z's for September 21st let's go back to starry night I'm going to hit play it's going to be very slow initially look what's happening to the shadows the sun's low in the sky the shadows are long low angle of insulation shadows are very long as the sun starts to rise look what's happening to the length of the shadow They're getting shorter and shorter and shorter and shorter so the lowest <clears throat> angle of insulation has the longest shadows the highest angle of insulation has the shortest shadows so at solar noon at the equator when the sun gets to be directly overhead you wouldn't have a shadow that does not happen in New York State because the sun never gets to be directly overhead in New York State so I'm just going to bump up the time over here. I'm going to get us to solar noon, theoretically. And we are at solar noon. And if you look, the sun is at the zenith. So it's going to go to 90 degrees, or 90 degree angle. So if I, in anticipation of what's going to happen, I'll hit play again. And now you can see, see the shadow length? See how small the shadow length is? Because the sun is really high in the sky. And I'll get the time going a little bit quicker here you got things to do I got things to do now here as the Sun sets it sets exactly in the West look how much longer those shadows are than they than happen during solar noon so sunrise sunset you have your highest shadow solar noon you have your shortest shallow shadow easy for me to say again for all locations on the planet Earth so from sunrise to solar noon the shadow is going to be getting smaller and then from solar noon to sunset the shadow will be getting longer for any location on the planet Earth. Now we need to kind of put this to paper, as they say. So I'm doing March 21st and September 21st in red. It's going to rise exactly in the east, set exactly in the west. It's going to get to the zenith. And I'm going to do solid line for rising. It doesn't matter what you do, just as long as you're consistent. And then a dotted line for setting. And then I'll move over the label. It shows you the date. It's March 21st, September 21st. Go back to Starry Night. Let's take a look at June. June 21st. And I'll just go um, back in time to AM. Where's the sun going to be? Well, it hasn't risen yet. And if I look exactly to the east, I'll be disappointed because it will not be there. Go back to my handy dandy map, page four. I can see, all right, June 21st, it goes over the Tropic of Cancer, which is north of the equator. And so a person at solar noon would have to look north to see the <clears throat> noontime sun. 
here we go we hit play and what's going to happen the sun's going to start to rise now if you look here's the east here's northeast it's not going to be to the northeast but it's going to be north of east which i know sounds ridiculous but there is a difference and look how long that shadow is when the sun first starts to rise it's not going to get to the zenith at solar noon so there we are at 11 30. right and what part of the sky do we look to see the noontime sun oh we'd have to look in the north part of the sky to see this uh see the sun at solar noon easy for me to say wow heavy amount of alliteration there what's going to happen well as we fast forward in time that sun's going to start to set again but it's not going to set exactly west it's not going to set northwest but instead it's going to set north of west which i know sounds technically kind of annoying but it's true so it's going to be north of west let's pause this for a minute go back to our little mimeo thing so that was june 21st which would be our summer which is still in the equator it's not their summer so it's going to rise just north of east and set just north of west it's going to get lower in the sky by how many degrees well look at your reference table it was here and now it moved appeared to move here how many degrees did it appear to move well zero to the tropic of cancer would be 23 and a half degrees so compared to the equinox at the equator it's going to get lower by 23 and a half degrees so here we go here's 10 degrees lower 20 degrees lower 21 22 23 and a half you know it's going to go up to there Again, the convention for me is solid for rising and dotted for setting pull this over give a little twist and now we're at june 21st so that sun's path has been plotted what's left december 21st go back to starry night change it to a.m and where are we going to look to see the rising sun well we have to look to the east part of the sky but it's not exactly east not due east but instead it's going to be not southeast but south of east look how long that shadow is hit play and then we can through the beauty of some computer work we could kind of rush away time a little bit and get us to that solar noon solar noon an observer on the equator would have to look to the south part of the sky to see the sun solar noon and then in terms of setting sun let's jump ahead to setting sun shall we you can see it's going to set not southwest but south of west and look how long those shadows are when it's setting so the equator again in green because it never gets to really be that low it's going to rise south of east and it's going to set south of west and it's going to go 10 20 21 22 23.5 less so again solid for rising dotted for setting and there we go that would be for december 21st oh, sorry i should have spun it first note to self spin first okay so that's drawing the celestial sphere sun's paths for the equator and that is where i will stop this particular screencast and we still do not have an answer for this boggles the mind i i don't i don't know